China spent 14.7 billion, and 40,000 construction workers rushed to the Taiwan Strait to build the world's most difficult cross-sea bridge. The Taiwan Strait is a long and narrow sea area between mainland China and Taiwan Island, with an average width of about 180 kilometers and a narrowest point of only 130 kilometers. It is an important waterway connecting the East China Sea and the South China Sea. The Taiwan Strait is not only a bridge for cross-strait economic, trade, cultural and personnel exchanges, but also the strategic goal of China's national reunification. The Taiwan Strait is also one of the most difficult places in the world to build a cross-sea bridge, because it faces extreme natural conditions and complex political factors. How difficult is it to build a bridge that takes seven years? It actually requires China to send tens of thousands of workers there. Once the construction is completed, the world will be amazed. In this video, let us learn more about it. As an infrastructure madman, China is very skilled in building cross-sea bridges and has also built many world-class bridges and tunnels, such as the Beipanjiang Bridge, the tallest bridge we are familiar with, and the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge, the longest cross-sea bridge. The highest plateau railway tunnel, the Chilean Mountain Tunnel, the longest plateau railway tunnel, the Zhengguangzhou Tunnel of the Qinghai Tibet Railway, etc. If you pick one at random, it is the best in the world. Therefore, China does not have any technical problems with building a cross-sea bridge across the Taiwan Strait. However, when building a cross-sea bridge, we must not only consider the technical difficulty, but also comprehensively consider factors such as length, climate, seabed topography, geological conditions, etc. Moreover, the experience of building other cross-sea bridges cannot be completely replicated in the Taiwan Strait, and measures must be adapted to local conditions. The Taiwan Strait is about 400 kilometers long and is wide in the south and narrow in the north. The widest point in the south is about 400 kilometers wide, and the narrowest point in the north is 130 kilometers wide. This also means that if a cross-sea bridge is to be built across the Taiwan Strait, the shortest bridge would have to be 130 kilometers long. You know, the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Cross Sea Bridge, currently the longest in the world, has a total length of only 55 kilometers. But even to build this 55 kilometer cross sea bridge, China took up to nine years and invested about 126.9 billion yuan before it was completed. The hardships involved can be imagined. So building a Taiwan Strait cross-sea bridge that is twice as long as the Hong Kong Zhuhai Macau Bridge is easier said than done. Its engineering difficulty, construction costs, including later maintenance costs, etc., are all unimaginable. Regarding the length issue, some people have also proposed using land reclamation to shorten the distance from Taiwan province. But is this method feasible? The Taiwan Strait is vast, covering an area of about 90,000 square kilometers, and its deepest water depth reaches 88 meters. It is extremely difficult to fill the sea area here. In addition, the Taiwan Strait is rich in fishery resources and is an important fishing ground for China. The bottom of the Taiwan Strait is also rich in oil and gas resources. However, Land reclamation will destroy the original marine environment here and threaten the safety of marine life in this area. It is an approach that is not worth the gain and is therefore not advisable. Which place in China has been hit the most by typhoons? None other than Guangdong and Taiwan. According to statistics from the China Weather Network from 1949 to 2019, 
Guangdong ranks first in the number of typhoon landings in various parts of China, reaching 194 times. Ranking second is Taiwan, 129 times, followed by Fujian, 104 times, and Hainan, 102 times. The Taiwan Strait is located in the subtropical and north tropical monsoon climate zones, with obvious monsoon alternations. Especially from July to September every year, there are many tropical cyclones. As a result, the Taiwan Strait is affected by tropical storms and typhoons an average of five to six times every year, and the center passes through it an average of two times. With such climatic conditions, even if the cross-sea bridge across the Taiwan Strait can be successfully completed, it will still have to withstand the severe test of typhoons every year and continue to be devastated. During strong typhoon season, for safety reasons, sea bridges may even be closed directly to traffic. In addition, the geological structure of the Taiwan Strait is complex, geological activities are frequent, and the average water depth exceeds 60 meters. There is no precedent in China for building a cross-sea bridge under such geological conditions, so it is difficult to build. In addition, the Taiwan Strait is an important maritime transportation route that connects China's north and south, and various giant ships of 10,000 tons or even hundreds of thousands of tons shuttle back and forth every day. At present, the largest tonnage ship requires a channel width of 1,700 meters. If it is a two-way ship, the width is required to be 3,400 meters. Building a cross-sea bridge will hinder the passage of these ships and affect the smooth flow of maritime transportation channels. Regarding this problem, some bridge engineering experts in China have also proposed a suspension bridge plan to increase the span of the suspension bridge to more than 5 meters. Although building a cross-sea bridge across the Taiwan Strait is difficult, perhaps it is not an unattainable dream. For decades, China has never given up its hopes and ideas for building a Taiwan Strait Channel. Now it has developed three options, the Northern Route, the Middle Route, and the Southern Route. Among them, the Northern Route Plan will be prioritized as the future plan for the Taiwan Strait Channel. Because the Northern Line Plan is shorter, the cross-sea part is about 124 kilometers and the total length is about 140 kilometers. The northern line starts from Changle, Fujian, passes through Pingtan Island, then crosses the Taiwan Strait, and finally reaches Xinchu, Taiwan. At both ends of the line, one end is close to Fuzhou and the other end is close to Taipei. Moreover, China has already built the Pingtan Strait Highway Rail Bridge and built a train station on Pingtan Island, so starting construction from Pingtan Island will help China significantly shorten the construction distance and save the construction period. There are obviously many obstacles to building the Taiwan Cross Sea Bridge, and they all come from the lack of cooperation from the Taiwan authorities. Therefore, the cross-sea bridge project across the Taiwan Strait is still in the imagination stage. Planning and construction can only begin when the right time comes. The first involves national sovereignty and territorial integrity. Taiwan is an inalienable part of China. This is China's core interest and bottom line. There are some separatist forces on the island of Taiwan. They do not recognize that both sides of the Taiwan Strait belong to one China and even attempt to promote Taiwan independence activities in various ways. These separatist forces not only threaten China's national unity, but also undermine cross-strait peace and stability. The construction of a cross-sea bridge is undoubtedly an important manifestation of Taiwan's sovereignty and territorial integrity and is also a powerful blow to 
Taiwan Independence Forces. The second involves cross-strait relations and people-to-people -people bonds. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is not only a traffic project, but also a political project. Its construction and operation will directly affect the development and changes of cross-strait relations. The Taiwan Strait Cross Strait Bridge will greatly promote cross-strait economic, trade, cultural and personnel exchanges, enhance communication and exchanges between compatriots on both sides of the strait, enhance the family ties and sense of identity of compatriots on both sides of the strait, and create favorable conditions for the peaceful development of cross-strait relations. The third involves international influence and external interference. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge will demonstrate China's strong capabilities and level in infrastructure construction, enhance China's voice and influence in the international community, and provide a new platform and opportunity for China to participate in global governance and regional cooperation. Once the Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is completed, it will be of great significance. The first is to promote China's national reunification and national rejuvenation. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is an important measure for China to achieve national reunification and national rejuvenation. It will greatly shorten the distance between the two sides, strengthen the ties between the two sides, enhance the feelings of compatriots on both sides, and create favorable conditions for the peaceful reunification of the two sides. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is also an important symbol for China to demonstrate its national strength and confidence. It will prove to the world that China has the ability and determination to safeguard its sovereignty and territorial integrity, not be afraid of any external interference and provocation, and strive for the great rejuvenation of the Chinese nation. The second is to promote economic development and social progress. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is an important project for China to promote economic development and social progress. It will greatly promote cross-strait economic, trade, cultural, and personnel exchanges, enhance cross-strait mutual benefit, and provide new impetus and opportunities for the common prosperity and development of both sides. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is also an important platform for China to improve its technological level and innovation capabilities. It will inspire China's innovative and exploratory spirit in infrastructure construction and help China achieve more breakthroughs and achievements in the field of science and technology. The third is to enhance international cooperation and regional stability. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is an important bridge for China to enhance international cooperation and regional stability. It will greatly promote exchanges and cooperation between China and other countries and regions, enhance China's voice and influence in the international community, and provide new platforms and opportunities for China to participate in global governance and regional cooperation. The Taiwan Strait Cross Sea Bridge is a super project with extremely high technical difficulty, political sensitivity, and construction significance. It is related to China's national reunification, national rejuvenation, economic development, social progress, international cooperation, regional stability, and other interests. We should view this project from a high level, not only to see the difficulties and challenges it faces, but also to see the opportunities and hopes it brings. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to our channel for more great content. See you next time.